The first 48 hours are critical in the life of every mother and child. We know that three quarters of all maternal deaths and one quarter of all infant deaths take place in the first 48 hours of life. Women and children in resource poor settings, such as here in Kenya, bear the greatest burden of these mortalities. They struggle with difficult roads and long distances. They struggle in accessing accurate information about their health. All too often, they struggle alone without any advocates. As part of an ongoing collaboration, the University of Toronto and Moy University are working together to improve the quality of care in facilities so that they are friendly, well-stocked, and connected within a referral network of care. We know that's not enough. As you can see, our facilities are empty. Notre défi est d'enrichir la santé des femmes et enfants au cœur de leur communauté. Nous voulons soutenir le travail des agents de santé communautaire pour qu'ils puissent surmonter les défis aux soins. Nous voulons les fournir avec l'information qui est pertinente et spécifique à chaque mère et enfant. Every household here is part of Open AMRS, an electronic medical record system linking home to facilities. Every member receives a health card with a unique identifier just like we have in Canada. Using this phone, we will develop the software to extend our electronic medical record system into the hands of community health workers. After scanning in the barcode of a person's AMRS card, community health workers will be able to enter and disseminate information that is specific to each mother and child. This information will reach the facilities and emergency transport so that community health workers have the health system at their fingertips. We want to improve the quality of care that community health workers can provide for their communities so that every mother and child can thrive beyond the first 48 hours of life.